Yeah. All right, what is up? We are, uh, I'm in the back of a U-Haul van. <laughs> didn't, get, didn't get kidnapped, uh, but I am in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for SneakerCon. I got two cameras on me right now. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Oof, man. All right, hold on. <laughs> we're going to SneakerCon right now, and, uh, and we're gonna go buy some shoes. Uh, you guys have anything to say? Like Follow Rob. Nah, we're gonna cut nah, that. Nah, keep that in. Sheldon, Sheldon knows. Yeah. Yeah. Sheldon knows. He knows the drill. I have no one to film today, so I'm gonna be putting the chest mount on the chest. On the yes, sir. And hopefully, we're gonna get some stuff. We got the table again. Sheldon's presence is gonna be greatly missed today. Sheldon, when you're editing this. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're missed, Sheldon. Just know that. All right, I'm gonna hold on to the to the walls here. So, all right, we are in SneakerCon, Florida. Keep the vibe. Actually, quite a solid venue. I'd say similar to like San Jose ish. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to finesse a second table because someone already took it. So we're gonna have to work with the humble one today, which is gonna be a little a task in itself. But you know how we do it, man. We're gonna we're gonna get the job done. We're gonna get what we need to do done. We're gonna start making the cardboard sign to come sell us shoes. So let's spend money. That's what you're gonna That's do? All I do. That's a good idea, man. Hey, yeah, I think I'm. Gonna... Exactly. How do you think I afford this Star Wars T-shirt? That shit, that is hard. Though. Exactly, bro. Target. No. All right, I'm gonna start making the sign. Cardboard cutter right there, and I got the Sharpie right here. I'm about to go to work. I'm gonna switch to the GoPro for the rest of most of the video, honestly. And then we're gonna go just pretty much, that's it. And I'm gonna put this big camera away until later. All right, man, check out the sign. We buy everything. Kind of messed it up, it's a little too big. But I think we're gonna get the point across. All right, man, we can take a little lap around. You know what we're looking for, use use garbage. It's honestly really weird talking to a camera on my chest. All right, so what time is it? It was like 10, 10, 20? Yeah. Something like that. People don't start coming in until 12, so I stole Rob's camera and I'm just recording for him just to see what it's like on the other side of the camera for once. Hey, I'll take these. For 100? Yeah. Fuck, bro, give me like 100. 100 bucks, that's a steal. Oh, you gotta, hey, can you take a look at that side tag and let me know what you think? I mean, it looks okay. Yeah. To be honest, what is it, 350 oh, that's or? Disgusting. Yeah. Good amount of hair under there, but for a hundred bucks. Like, oh, I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> Damn, I think I'm gonna cash out here. There's a lot of shit. Make, Make my day play. easier. He's kind of friendly, like, he's yeah, not he's an great. asshole. Oh, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Prices are on the bottom. Here you go. Thank you. Woo, Chris Benjamin. How much, how much of these? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Man, what, Which one's yours? Let's do 100, 100 bucks. That, that sounds like a good deal. Bro, I'll, take a, I'll take a good majority of the shit. Don't buy it. I want, I like bricks. <laughs> Hundred? Hundred? No box. It is a box. Oh, there is a box. Yeah. Okay, 110. It is a box. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> so 100 bucks? 100 bucks. Let's start off. Start off the first deal of many. Oh, okay, 100 bucks, and I'll give you a roll of tape. That is a good deal. I'm gonna flip that shit right now. Right. Just take it. Let me see the 100. Just, just take them. I got it. They're in the back. Literally, just give me all your garbage. I love garbage. Okay, here. Yeah. Like these? Now we're gonna start fighting over. 100 bucks. I, I don't know where the bonds is. Give me a minute. Okay. But okay. would you take it? Yeah, give me a kiss, I'll do it too. Okay, hey, 100 bucks. Yo. <laughs> Anything for the bread? It's coming. Is yours? <laughs> yeah, that's mine. How much? 20. That's too high. 100 bucks? Just not give me TikTok prices, come on. 100 bucks for these is a good price. All right, so first deal of the day. All right, 200 bucks. I'm picking up the Dark Concords and the uh, Fire, no, Top 3 Fives. Hey man, here's your crisp $200. What is this for again? The Top 3 Fives and the Concord 12s. So we just picked up a few more pairs. I'm gonna show you guys what we're going. We just picked up these obsidians. They're pretty good condition. All the stars are there, extra laces and all that uh, for 260 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal right there. And then we picked up these championship red dunks. They look brand new. Paid 160, uh, market's like 220, 230. So we should be able to make like almost 50 bucks on that. This is really hard to do with one hand. So hold on, have patience here. Um, but yeah, that's all so far. Um, the show is slowly, slowly picking up, slowly but surely. Yeah, that's that's what we gotta say, man. All right, so we just picked up another shoe, and still, StockX is not working in it. I don't know if I actually if I told you that or not, but it won't pull up, so I don't know the prices. So I kind of just um, yoloing it. There's Rob right there. I picked up these PSG Fat or ones for 180 bucks. I honestly don't even know what they go for. You know what they go for at all? They I want to say like 250. Okay, all right, I have no idea. But honestly, if it's like anything over 200, I'd be cool with that. Yeah, I'll keep updating as uh, the pairs keep coming in. All right, uh, we're back at the hotel for the first trip, unloading the boxes. I haven't really recorded too much today. It just didn't go how I wanted it to. Didn't pick up that many pairs at all, but luckily there's an event tomorrow that I'm gonna go to 
in South Beach. So we're gonna go there. And we're also, we're struggling to put everything in the room right now in our small 200 square foot room. Uh, we have about mm, 10 more boxes in the car we have to put in. And we're about three deep right now. So we're definitely gonna struggle. This is gonna be interesting for sure. A few moments later. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell by the scenery, but I am back in my car. And that entails, I'm back home. I'm supposed to be in Florida right now. Yesterday I was supposed to go to another sneaker event just because sneaker con did not turn out the way I wanted to. I'll get into that in a second, but I was supposed to move my flight over, but uh, they said it was gonna be like 300 bucks. And I was like, honestly, bro, at that point, like I'm just gonna stay home. Like I'm just gonna go on my original flight back home. So that sucks. So honestly, the trip was a bust. I was expecting a lot more. You know, I could sit here and make excuses cause like the internet was down. So I couldn't check the prices on my phone, but I don't know. What I took away from it is I need to be on my, my shit as soon as I walk in that door, I, I was kind of expecting just people to walk up to me from the table and that didn't really happen. It did every now and then, but I also had to turn them away because I just wouldn't be able to check the prices and stuff. It was honestly, it was just a perfect storm of stuff, but it's disappointing. I'm not going to sit here and dwell on it. Chuck it up as a loss. I got what I got. It just means I have to go a little bit harder this week and have to get more pairs. But yeah, it's just tough. It happens. Like I'm not going to sit here and complain, but yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a standalone video like I was planning on. And also every event I try to fly out to, I'm going to try to bring someone with me to film because I just I don't I don't like going to events with the chess mount doing local meetups and stuff like that and small deals here and there with the GoPro thing is fine but I don't I don't like it when it's an event it just I don't know it feels off it doesn't feel genuine I don't know it just feels weird so I'm gonna try my best to to bring someone out every time I go somewhere to film so yeah that's that's what's going on plans for today I gotta go drop off this money that I pulled out for this weekend that I didn't use which is unfortunate but it's whatever then we got to go home actually I might go to Ikea because I'm trying to reorganize my stuff my other rack just doesn't fit the shoes that I need to anymore I need a little bigger one I mean I want to organize it by size so when people ask me what shoes I have I can just look and I don't have to go in my spreadsheet and all that kind of stuff so that will make life a lot easier and besides that we have some shoes to clean and post today and that's honestly it I'm gonna try to see if we can lock down a few uh meet offer up meetups today but th that's if I have time so let's hopefully this day goes better than the last few yeah I will see you guys in a second all right so I'm on the GoPro now I just switched or I just uh, stopped over at Ikea real quick and picked up two shelves because I'm going to be getting rid of the small one in my room and just kind of try to organize everything more by like size and condition of the shoe just so it's easier to pull stuff and not waste time looking for a shoe. Um, I'll know exactly where everything is and like the sizes and stuff and if it's brand new or if it's used. So I feel like that'll save a lot of time and just make everything more efficient and run smoother. I'll put them together a little later. As for now, I do have one shoe to clean. So I'm going to do that real quick take some pictures and that's pretty much it all right so i'm back home now i almost forgot i have to drop a video today i forgot to do it yet well i didn't forget i literally didn't have time yesterday i was just go 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 yesterday but i am doing it now i'm uploading the video shit it's a day late but i'm really trying to get back on my schedule of posting like every saturday or sunday uh and then eventually working back towards posting two videos a week but it's gonna take a minute because i am extremely backlogged right now but we are going to get there hopefully in the next month we'll be back to schedule and everything's working and flowing beautifully i just need to get the system in place once I get my schedule down, we're golden. But as for now, not so much, but we're getting it done. So yeah, this is going to go up real quick. I'm going to make a thumbnail. Then we're going to be good to go. All right, we are going to get to be cleaning just one shoe today. It's uh, these Travis Scott 4s. Uh, we got them for 340 bucks. Just no hang tag and a small bit of cracking on the inside of the shoe. But I mean, I still think we should be able to make at least 100 bucks on these at least because they're still buttery the suede just needs to stuff the toe box get that crease out and these are pretty much flawless all the stars are on the bottom just extremely dirty but we're gonna clean these up so remember this this picture right here when i'm showing you or this video and then i'm gonna cut a second after this and we're gonna see what they look like all right so i just finished cleaning both of the shoes bada bing bada boom still a little dirty but it needs to a lot better than before all the stars are there i'm gonna put these up for 500 bucks and see what happens i definitely think they're worth that it's just the little chipping on the side but it's no big deal uh, these are super clean, insoles are clean, all the stars are there. So we'll see what we can do with these. I'll let you guys know when we sell these. So now I'm going to take a picture of a few shoes and just get them ready to post. So actually, instead of taking the pictures of the shoes, I'll do that a little later tonight. Uh, I'm going to start assembling the shelves I bought from Ikea. I'll set up a little time lapse on the GoPro and we'll try to organize this room a little bit better. It's just a little messy in this corner and I feel like I can organize it better. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. So it's the next morning, check it out. I finished building the rack and there's no more shoes on the floor. 
There's a bag right there, but I want to get like these organizers so I can put clothing in like little bins. I'll sort them from small, medium, large, just so like the clothing isn't just like falling over on the floor. So I'm going to have to find some of those on Amazon or something like that. Um, and the rack is over there. Um, last night, I didn't end up taking pictures of shoes because I'm having Aaron's brother, Mr. Bossman's brother. I'm paying him a few bucks to take pictures of all the shoes so I can sit on off-rip and try to find some deals for today um, to try to make up for this lack of a weekend. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna have to go return uh, a shelf to Ikea. I bought two of them not knowing you could like lock them into each other or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that today. We also made a few sales last night. We made two. We sold these university blue ones on goat with no box for $360. Making roughly like, not roughly, we, make, we are making 40 bucks on those. These maroon sixes. I think in the other video, I said I paid $350. I meant 260. I don't know why I said that. But we're making like 70 bucks on these. Super clean shoe. Um, we moved them on goat. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go pack those up and ship them out. Hopefully a lot more stuff sells this week because we're finally posting up again on eBay. And if you guys want to go check out what I have for sale, there's two ways you guys can buy from me now. You guys can buy from me on Instagram, which is going to be a little bit faster, but less smooth. Or you can go on my eBay page, see something you like there, uh, and buy it just straight from there. No strings. You literally just click buy and bada bing bada boom. I'll have it out next day or the same day if you catch me at a good time. That's all I have to say. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, if you guys want to go check that out and I'll also leave uh, my Instagram right there on the screen. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go to, where am I going to go? Oh yeah, I'm going to go to the bank right now to go deposit that cash that I was going to yesterday, but yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day uh, and the banks were closed, so I couldn't do that. So I'm going to go do that now. All right, I'm on my way to the bank, go drop off this cash. Uh, and then we've got a few packages in the back that we're going to go drop off. We just pulled up to UPS. Now we're going to mask up because we don't want Bovid. And now we're going to go drop off these packages, those beautiful, beautiful, lovely packages. All right, so everything in my room has been had pictures taken for them. You guys can see all the little orange labels. I mean, there's pictures taken of them. Um, and then you can see them all over there. This also might be a great time to say, if you have any shoes for sale, feel free to shoot me a DM I'm right here on my page. And I'll try to get back to you. Just know I have to make some bread, so I'm not going to be paying the highest. If you want to look for the highest, go to like eBay or a local marketplace or something like that. But I will buy your shoes for the right price. So yeah, I was scrolling through off and stuff like that, trying to find some meetups to do. Didn't really have any luck. I might have one for tomorrow. And then I secured a local meetup on my Instagram at 12 tomorrow. So I'm going to go to the gym in the morning, come home, shower, and then go to that meetup. It's like an hour away. Not even an hour, it's like 35 minutes. I'm also going to make time tomorrow to posting up all these on eBay page. That'll also be linked in the description. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. All right, what's up guys? It is the next morning. I'm with uh, Mr. Bossman himself up to nike so i'm gonna i haven't been here in a minute i'm just gonna see what they have um i'm really not expecting anything but if they have something you know we'll pick it up so yeah i'm just gonna see what they have real quick then we're gonna go home and get to work on posting all those things up on ebay all right man so uh boss man in without me uh what'd you find bro nothing nothing Oops. you think it was worth it uh, worth the time uh, i wasn't driving so yeah yeah you're right you're right i was driving yeah i think this was a very good use of time <laughs> now i'm gonna go home and actually go make some make some plays and do business stuff I'm back home now. I completely forgot I had a meetup scheduled at 12 today and it is 341. Uh, you can't see it, but it's 341. Um, basically, I just told the guy, I'll buy you a shipping label. All you got to do is drop it off at UPS. So that's what's happening. Not many local deals are going to happen, honestly, this week, I don't think. But I'm going to show you guys, or I'm just going to run down a list of everything that is coming in the mail. It might come this video, it might come another video, but just basically, this is what I've been doing. I just don't record it because I don't like, what are you going to watch me do? Shoot out offers on my phone. But first thing, we picked up some Michigan Dunks for 210. Next, this is a four piece deal. Jordan 1 Bordeaux 170. Crimson Tint uh, Dunk Highs 105. Golden Gal Dunks 122 and Jordan 11 Citrus 165. Next, we picked up some Royal Toes for 200 bucks. Then we picked up some Bordeaux Dunks for 280, some Neon Force for 155, and some Jordan 3 Alma Meniers brand new for $500. So those are some pretty good deals. Hopefully everybody ships. Now I'm gonna go post all the pictures that I got yesterday on my eBay. I'm not gonna record it because like, what am I gonna show you? But I will tell you guys when I'm done and maybe we'll find a meetup tonight. I don't know, it might not happen. Just know I've been putting in some hours on offer up shooting that offers getting disrespected. I mean, technically I'm disrespecting them with a the little ball, but so yeah, I will see you guys in a second. All right, what is up guys? It is the next morning. We sold five things last night. Also finished posting up everything on eBay. So if you guys want to go check out what I have, I'll be updating it very frequently of everything I do get. Um, but we sold five things. I know we didn't make crazy profit on it, but it was kind of just stuff to move. We sold a pair of our size six Belugas, size three Yeezy Slide Okers, size 12 Yeezy Slide Ochre, 
and then two Pollen's uh, grade school. So I'm gonna pack those up in a second, but before I do that, I'm gonna record a sit down video that you guys are probably gonna see before this video. So yeah, I'm gonna sit down, record that for like an hour or so, and then we're gonna get to packing some boxes and I have to drop off some shoes that we also sold as well. All right, so it is the next day. I spent, honestly, a little bit longer than I would like to admit on that video yesterday. I had no script written. I was kind of just trying to do it off the dome. I spent two and a half hours talking to the camera and I sat down, watched it back, and I was just not happy with it. It's about how to not get scammed when you're buying and selling. So I've been working on this since yesterday, just trying to get all the important points across and I'm not trying to mess up on anything because if you guys do do what I say, you should be fine. But I was just trying to make sure that I was not missing a single thing because it is super easy to lose money in this business. People are always trying to get the upper hand on you. So that's why I'm making this video and I want it to be thorough and long and try to get my points across. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. I went to the post office yesterday, dropped off those orders. It wasn't a lot. <laughs> I think I ended up shipping out like three pairs. I dropped off two pairs of shoes, some Volt Golds that we made no money on, and some pollens that we're gonna make like 20 bucks or 30 bucks on. So I was trying to just trying to move those to get some capital in here so we can work a little bit more. I have a video series coming up that I wanna try, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet. So just know we're gonna need a lot of money for it though. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to move some stuff that I don't mind breaking even or just making a couple bucks on. We have a few more orders to ship out this morning but I'm not gonna ship those out lately I've been noticing that I have been productive as I usually have and I broke that down to not having a structured schedule I feel like I perform a lot better when I have structure and it's kind of hard because all my life I've had this structure of like school do this do this do that now I'm on my own I have no one to tell me what to do and I feel like at times I struggle because I don't know what to do with my time but two days ago I've been trying to so the night before I'll sit in my bed and I'll think of everything I have to do for the next day and I'll write it down I'll write it down like this in my notes with little checkpoints and just check off each thing I have to do in the day It helps my mind be more focused on the actual goal and not like the little distractions here and there I feel like that's just the ADHD in me that I need a schedule and like a outline of what to do If you guys are struggling to focus on stuff I would definitely recommend Try to make yourself some type of schedule or routine and try to follow it as strict as possible I've noticed it helped a lot so I would definitely recommend that and also also, I know I'm just talking here. You guys have been asking for a crypto update. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you one. Cause boy, it is not looking hot. We're just gonna log into our Coinbase here. But I think we had like 5,000 or something dollars in our crypto. My initial investment was like 5,700. I put it in, automatically just went down. Um, so that's tough. And now we're sitting at a solid $3,210.54. So we are down astronomical, but am I tripping? No, because like I said earlier, I'm only putting in money here that I can afford to lose. Like, yes, it hurts, it's down, but like I'm only really down if I sell. So I'm just gonna hold it, not look at it and see what happens. I wasn't in it for the quick return. I knew that going into it, so I'm not really disappointed. So yeah, you guys wanted an update? We are down astronomical. So yeah, I'm gonna print out some labels and pack up everything that we have to ship out, but I won't drop it off until later because we do have a few more things to do today. So yeah. Wow, as I just said that, we went down another $20 and we are now in the 3100 range, so let's go. But yeah, enough of me talking. I will pick up the camera when I start packing some boxes because I need to finish the script. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when I'm done with that. Right now, I should be packing orders, but instead, I am setting up my eBay store to make it look somewhat presentable compared to what I had it before since you guys are actually gonna see my eBay now. So I made a store. Someone took the store name of Sneaker Souffle, so shout out to you, whoever took that, because I know you didn't just think of it. So yeah, that's dope. Um, I had to go with Sneaker Souffle 626 so that's fire but yeah I think I'm gonna pack up these orders first and then I'll switch over to doing this so let's pack some orders we have a flurry of orders right here I think we have like six so let's pack these up all right just finished packing everything up you guys can see it right uh, right there the little stack now I'm going to Wait to drop that off a little later today. And I'm just gonna really try to hunker down and make this eBay store look very presentable and make sure everything's flowing properly. So I'm gonna go work on my computer, work on the graphics and stuff for the store, like the banner and putting my logo on it and all that kind of stuff. So I'll try to keep you guys updated with the progress. Right now, this is it. It's literally just blank. There's no billboard, anything. There's the name, that's cool. And then like the featured categories and stuff like that. So we still have a lot to do. So I'm probably gonna spend the rest of my day up to like five o'clock and then I'm gonna go drop those off and then we're good to go. So I will pick up the camera soon. Okay, so I just finished uh, making the store, I believe. 
boom, there you go. Sneaker Souffle eBay page. For the banner, I just put buy, sell, trade. I didn't really know what else to put. You can just scroll through here, see what I have, and if you want to buy something, you can buy it. If you guys want to go shoot my eBay store a follow and be the first ones to know when I post stuff, go check it out. As for Instagram, I'll still be posting on there consistently. Um, this is just for the people that don't want to wait for me to respond to a message or they don't have Instagram. You guys can go check out my eBay page now. Yeah, so now I'm going to sit here, brainstorm some video ideas because I'm reviving my TikTok account. I don't know why. I just, I guess I lost sight of how impactful TikTok can be for your business. So I'm going to, I'm going to get back on there, start from scratch and kind of build everything up again. Cause I did it once. I could do it again. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to be brainstorming ideas for the next hour or so. Um, I'm really kind of done today. All we have to do is go drop off those to the post office, but I won't do that until five, just in case any more orders come through so I can get them out same day. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will pick up the camera again if I do something interesting. Oh, how can I forget? Our sneaker con package should be arriving today along with another package. So I'll definitely film that. So that'll probably be the next time you guys see me pick up the camera. All right, so I was writing down ideas for like an hour and a half. And I'm not gonna lie, then I fell asleep for like 30 minutes. That's why I look a little tired right now. But look what came in. We got two, three packages to open up. So I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna go open them up. All right, so let's start off with this little baby box first. All right, so we got some Jordan 1 Royal Clothes. And I paid 200 bucks for these. Pretty clean condition, honestly. I'd say probably like a nine out of 10. Very little creasing. Most of the stars are there on the bottom, so not bad. I think we should be able to get like 240 for them. Now let's open up the little box. First pair we have in the box, some UNLV Dunks. Super clean on the bottoms, just a little bit of dirt. Next shoe, another pair of Dunks, the Midnight Navy. These don't have an insole, but we'll find a replacement for those. I forgot what I paid, I think I paid like a hundred bucks or something. Next pair, you guys might know about the box, size nine. UNC fours, super clean, all stars on the bottom. No fading on the suede, love to see that. Got a Jordan four box, Fire Reds. I think I paid like 220 or 210 on these. Uh, these will need a little clean, but they're super clean. Gonna need to get the sock line out of the back and then just a little scrub on the bottoms. But I think we'll be able to make almost north of 300 on these. So I think we did pretty decent on those. Another Jordan one, some shadows. Pick these up for $160. They're just gonna need a little scrub on the bottoms. And then they should be able to go for anywhere from 220 to 240, uh, cause brand new is almost 300 in this size. So I think, I think that should go pretty well. They're pretty clean. And then last shoe in this box, another dunk and it's another Midnight Navy. Uh, I think I paid 110 on these or 120. Not bad. Here we go, got some more pairs in here. So first pair, it looks like another dunk box. And it is another dunk box. Got these Panda High Men's in a size 10. Or not 10, 10 and a half. Uh, probably worn like twice. I think I paid 140 on those. Next we got a size 13 Jordan 4. Some white cements. I think I paid pretty decent on these actually. I think I paid like 200 bucks. And if you know anything about the white cement floors with the Nike Air on the back, these move. These move very well. So we should be able to get like 300 bucks for those. Got a Jordan 11 box. Some Legend Blue 11s. Decently worn. We're probably gonna need to clean these up a little bit, but I think I paid like 100 something bucks on these, 110, 120, so not bad. Uh, looks like we got another dunk box. Some Syracuse dunks. These go for some bread. I think I paid like 380 bucks. And this was one of my questionable moves of this event, so I'm gonna see how these sell. But yeah, they are my size. So, might need to get a fit pick in them before I do get rid of them, because I do like this shoe. Uh, we got a few more pairs in here. We got these top three fives, pretty clean on the bottoms. Got these for 100 bucks. Next. This was another move that I was kind of questionable on because I had no internet in this event. So I was kind of just buying off the dome. I paid 170 for these and thought that was kind of high, but I checked the market later that night and realized these go for $300. So we did make some decent money on these. Got four more, six more pairs of here. Got another dunk box. These championship red dunks worn, maybe worn once, super clean though. I think I paid like a hundred bucks on these, 120. We got another Jordan one size 11 some obsidians we paid 240 dollars on these if you know the market that's pretty good price so yeah i'm happy to, i'm happy to get these for that price comes with the box all the stars are there extra laces original box goat verified and all that four more shoes in the box we have some size 9 jordan ones some royal toes i paid 200 bucks for these and these are spectacularly clean a little scrub and these will be worn like once look pretty good bada bing bada boom we got a pair of dunks 
The Kentucky Highs, I do remember paying high on these. I paid 150 for a used pair. I should not have paid that high. Brand new goes for like 190, 200, so I'll be losing money on these. Next, we got some Belugas, no, Desert Sage. Paid 180 for these in a size five. I believe size five goes for a lot, so. Okay money, probably like 50 bucks on these. And then last, but not least, a pair of Jordan 12 Dark Concords for $100. We did pretty good on these. I think I'll be able to get like 200 bucks for these because brand new is hitting for like um, above 300. So that is nuts. But yeah, that is everything I bought this weekend at SneakerCon Florida. 18 pairs, so nothing crazy, but we should be able to make some decent money. And now I'm going to go to UPS to go drop off those packages we packed up earlier. And then we're going to come home and we're going to end this video. All right, just got the car all loaded up. <sighs> now let's go over. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I should not have yawned. How rude of me. Now we're gonna go head over to UPS and drop these off and we're gonna end this video sadly. I know, I know you guys don't want it to end, but uh, I have to end it. All right, just pulled up to UPS. We're gonna go drop off those packages. Let us go drop them off. I will be back momentarily. Don't forget a mask. All right, we're back and we are done. So I'm gonna go home and we're gonna we're gonna wrap this video up, guys. All right, so I just finished up at UPS, got home. Now, guys, it is time to end the video. I appreciate you guys if you even made it this far in the video. Most of you already clicked off the video halfway through, but hey, to the real people that are watching this, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching the channel and just thank you for watching my videos. I don't know what else to say. Make sure to leave a like, maybe comment your thoughts, opinions. Maybe you hated the video, maybe you hate me. You know, just whatever floats your boat, but yeah. Oh, also, if you want to go follow me on Instagram, it'll be right here. eBay store will be linked down below if you guys want to go check out what I have for sale. And yeah, with all that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more, yeah. I have been rolling a doja. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold before, yeah. I might just